I had my shirt on this morning. Oh yeah, you're done. Yeah, last year. We, actually, we all have different different Twin Tail shirts on, Mom. Let me see. Look at that. So I've got oh, I've got a black, got just the logo T. The nice Someone. like this is the new logo. Mom's got the Don't Die K by T shirt on. If you want some merch, you can go find it at our website. <laughs> it's a shameless plug, you know. Use code Twin for 50, 10 percent off. I don't remember what it is. There's a code you can get. You go to our link tree. Um, today, hi, my name is Paul. This is Luke. He's working on an email. Hold on, this is sorry. my mom. Let's start. Hi, my name is Paul. What are we doing here? My name is Luke. Hi, ah, we are Twins House. This is my mom. And I'm we, mom. We are doing, uh, we're gonna do a cooking video today with my mom because y'all requested it on the live stream on Monday night. And so we're gonna make pizza casserole because nobody knew, everyone was confused about what it was. So now we're gonna show you how to make it yourself. Yeah. yeah. We also have to make breadsticks. We, we have to make breadsticks first. So you got a quarter cup of oil there. Three quarter cup warm water. Two eggs. Three quarter teaspoon salt. Three tablespoons of sugar. And then you put in milk. So this is optional. You could do warm milk at the beginning, or you can do this is dry milk. It's one third cup powdered milk. If you it's, want it to be dairy it, free, you could just leave it out. So three cups of flour total. Cup to thin. Regular, you know. Oh, and then two teaspoons yeast. And uh, except what I use. This is what Dad gets online. Here. No, not really. Oh, no, nope. you're just kidding. It's in bags and I just put it in that. Oh, so I don't use the jar. ignore that jar. Oh, when yeast is fine. This is active dry yeast. But <laughs> get whatever But you buy a big old bag of yeast, yeah. He got two pounds last time. Oh, wow. A pretty big bag. <laughs> Take me a long time. <laughs> Maybe five. In the I don't know. You, you, start, should... you start in the freezer? Yeah. Every bread machine is a little bit different. There's dough. a dough recipe, and or so we're gonna make setting. it into a dough setting, and so we're gonna put on the dough setting. So you can push the menu select to nine, nine. and then start. <laughs> then I try to just help it get into a ball. Okay. No, we see there's a lot of flour. I'm almost ready to leave because we aren't gonna get this casserole done. <laughs> so I'm gonna walk you through pizza casserole real quick. Pizza casserole basically is spaghetti pie pizza. Okay. It's different. Just watch. First, we're gonna start by boiling some water and getting our spaghetti noodles, noodles going. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Also, in our next video, we're gonna teach you how to make mom's ice cream cake. So subscribe for more. So oh, we got our breadsticks going. We've got our water starting. We're trying to boil. Did you put oil in this? Yeah, it just helps keep the noodles from sticking together. Whoa! We're checking on our bread. Uh, it says it's got 23 more minutes on it, but um, that's kind of where we're at. We've got sausage. We're browning some sausage. Thanks sort out about eight ounces of spaghetti. You can do eight or 12, eight to 12. But I like, they come in 16 ounces or 32 ounces. And so I buy cheaper. So I have the 32 ounces. So I need a fourth of this. So I just have to kind of, yes. That's on the four. <laughs> I take it and break it in half because in the pizza casserole, I just, the way I've always done it. Because it's pizza casserole. That's right. And then the pizza. Like this is the crust. And then you can kind of work it down in the water. And we've got sausage right here. We need one pound sausage, one pound ham. Then we're going to use for our sauce, we've got tomato sauce and pizza sauce um, that we'll be using as our sauce. Do you already have brown hamburger, Mom? I do. Banana? Hamburger, one pound. No you have to preheat the oven to uh, 350. Basically, there's three layers. So you do your spaghetti and you put it on the bottom of the pan, then you do your meat and sauce, and that's on the bottom, and then you do your cheese. Yes. And then, you and then do pepperonis. pepperonis. Yeah. So, so we're, we're, we're making the, the sauce right now that we're gonna add the meat to, but the meat is still browning. So we're gonna do this. So you do a whole can of pizza sauce. So you do it. about 34 ounces generally of either pizza sauce and tomato soup. I do one big one, one of these. And you just scrape it out. So when mom first got this recipe from a friend in Ainsworth, Nebraska, um, she made it with what? Just some tomato sauce? Mom said no because she didn't get more mayonnaise. Yeah, I did. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was Don Guernsey. Mm -hmm. I believe that's where it came from. Oh no. About two cups per pound. Sometimes two and a half. Depends on how much, how good of sausage you have. Oh. And then I'll take the rest of it and we'll call this another pound. I think there's two pounds in here, so we're just kind of guessing a little bit. So we're going to take the two pounds over here and we'll divide it out if we go one, two. Wow, this must have been good stock. Good stock right there. We're going to do three. We're going to go ahead and do that much. And then we'll put the rest of it in that another container, mix it up, fold it in. That's important here. Um, do you think that's thought enough, Mom? Because it's gonna bake, so. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. As long as you can stir it. Mix it up. We're making this good. 
it's not a serious video, but it is kind of a serious video because it is an actual recipe that you could actually make at home, but I don't know if you will. You don't know that. That's true, I have no idea. If you do, I need you to tag me on Instagram and say, I did it. I'm excited about this video. Is it done, Ross? Not yet? One, One more minute. This oh, is good. No. Did you break it? It ripped. You broke the bag. Okay, and a Ziploc. <laughs> Not. Give it to me. I would sneak into the freezer because mom would freeze pepperonis and I would snack on pepperonis when we were little and I got in trouble a couple times for it, but I don't remember. You don't remember that? Mm. Mom, I would eat like an entire package of pepperonis. We can't have them in our house because Paul will eat them. No, it's Paul though. I'll do it too. You know, they say, as a child, I, uh, what is that? Um, I behaved like a child. I acted like a child. But as a man, I uh, left my childish ways behind me. I Let's fear, I fear we, I fear we haven't left them behind. No, we haven't. Stop eating pepperonis. <laughs> hey, how many are you eating? Not, not too many. <laughs> too many. Poor guy. Left behind. All the runs left. All alone. Oh, I'm alone by myself. The... Wow, we did wow, not. Do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> I'm alone in the universe. What were you singing? All by myself. Oh, okay, that was pretty good too. Oh, it's a pan. Oh, it's the bottom layer. This is your, as some would say, this is your crust. I like that word, crust. It's a weird word. Crust. <laughs> why, am I, why am I like this? I come home and I become a baby. You know, a child. Actually, that's not true. You're always this way. Not, not wrong. Okay, here we go. Mom. Aw. Alrighty, there you Aww. go, see? So nice, can... a crust. Yeah. Now you can pour that on the top of it. Okay. okay. This, is, this, is the, this is the true power of this, of this dish. All right, so I do about eight ounces of this and about eight ounces of this. Do you so weigh it out or how do you know? Oh. No, it's no just about, it doesn't matter. Mozzarella. This, yeah. Yeah. It's Cheese. just a, a light covering. I guess I just kind of know about how much it is. You just do it. Yeah. You know it's what you're just, doing. But this is where so. pizza comes into the play. You know, obviously we have pizza sauce in here, but this is where the pizza starts to, to show itself. You know? <laughs> show oh. yourself. Show what do you hear yourself. beeping? Oh, is that the, the bread machine? That's our breadsticks. I feel like I have right a little more right here. Gotta make sure it's all coverage, coverage mm -hmm. here. And then as long as it looks pretty fully covered, it's probably good. Those so we've got our crust, our sauce, our cheese, and now our toppings. Now the best part of the whole thing. Pepperonis. I'm just like, sure. you know, going to town on these pepperonis. If I'm being honest, this is how I would do a pepperoni pizza. Okay, well let's do the pepperoni pizza like you would do. One more, for the cameraman. Oh, snack for the cameraman. Snack. All right, we'll, we'll update you once it's out of the oven. If you make it fresh and your hamburger and your sausage is hot, generally about 30 minutes is all it takes. At 350 in the oven. We have one cold, one hot. So let's say 37 minutes will be about right. Yeah. All ready to go? Okay, right, open, them, open this up for me. Cookies. 37. Our timer is now at zero. It's raised all the way to the top here. So we are going to, ah, now. Oh, sorry, mom. Oh, sorry. Have you got a new camera? Cute, no, it's the same one. Oh yeah, grandpa and grandma came. Oh yeah, grandpa and grandma are here. Say hey, grandpa and grammy. We're gonna make some breadsticks here. Hey there. Okay. So you poke it? No. You wanna poke it. Really, my turn. No. Mom goes, mom goes, get it, get aggressive, in there. Aggressive, get it in there. Okay. okay roll it out. It? I'll let you do it, Miles. So you, you're Mom's the pro. No, mom really you is. Do it. Mom's a bread pro. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it the size of the pan, almost, not okay. quite. And then I'm gonna cut it on the pan and it kind of leaves them together. I might try a little more. Please. Yeah, hold the pan for the, for the mom. Yeah, what do I do without you? I know. Okay. Fall apart. No, you guys can do this. No, don't do too thin. Oh, what? You want them to, be able to pop up. No, you're fine. They it's gotta okay. bounce back. It's okay. It's okay. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, Got about an inch. Oh, that's a little thin, Luke. Come on. Give it a little inch. Come Whatever on. What do you think? You can go that way. Kind of angle it. Oh, or you can just this is a little baby piece. Different. Baby good. piece. Okay, and then cut it. This is Luke's, this is Luke's, Luke's piece. That's my piece. That's Luke's, Luke's breadstick. My breadstick. That one, one you get. Yeah. Yeah. That one right there. Right. Yeah, I'd say so. Well, you are, you are a little, remember in high school when you were like, you were just like itty bitty on your bread? I would only eat a little bit of bread. Just teeny tiny bits of bread. Um, we call that, um, not healthy. Eating disorders. <laughs> yeah, not good. Also, eat the bread if you want the bread. That's all I gotta say about that. I bake the bread sticks at about 350 to 375, depending on how fast I want them to go, and about 10 minutes to 12 minutes. And just depending on how fast you want to go. And depending on how hot your oven is, so you yeah. just kind of watch it. It's a little bit more fly by the seat of your pants type of situation, so. 10 minutes, 10 to 12. As well? Well, 350. that's why we got the master. You know? Raised up real nice. Well, they did. They really did. And this, I think, is done. And we had trouble with knowing when we actually started it, but I think it's good. It's bubbling around the edges, and it's kind of dark around the edges, and um, so I think it's good. Good. And there. Here we go, Mas. All right. All righty, you'll let that cool for a little bit while those breadsticks bake, and then we're gonna sit up and eat it. 10 minutes, 10, 12 minutes, I don't know. We'll yeah. do 11 and see. 11 <laughs> minutes, and we'll see how it goes. Those are raised up real nice, Mom. Mm -hmm. Put a little melted butter. About two tablespoons of butter for this much. It usually works, right. so it might be a little light. We'll see. Oh, hey, what do you think of my little, uh... Yeah, oh, you kind of you got really big, <laughs> see? It's pretty big, actually. Okay, a little bit of garlic oh, salt. Oh, you know what you're doing. You could do seasoning salt, you could do whatever, but we can do some garlic salt. What do you guys think? I love that. I you love garlic. seasoning salt or just garlic? Nah, that's fine. The best. This is the best. Make a mess. Sorry. Make a mess. Are you gonna, you gonna snitch? Taste test? No! Put them in the bowl and eat the dinner. Oh, this one, this right here. This little baby. Oh, that might be the baby one actually we were thinking about. Probably was actually. That's the one. Get, just a bite, and I want a bite. Give me a bite here. Give me a bite, a bite. Oh, good. Okay. Finger good. Finger looking good. What do you think? We'll start with that, and then yeah. We'll work more yeah. All right, sit down, mom, mom, dad, dad. On our way. That makes somebody forty-nine years old. Right. <laughs> well, I think about your seventieth. Um, the yeah. class reunion. Class reunion, that's yeah. something else too. That's real. I, I tell you, that is something else. Oh, Dorothy Lynch? Mm -hmm. She's a crazy gal. That crazy lady. Mm. Very good. It, you know, it's amazing, you know. Oh, they, yeah. They never bought it. They made it from scratch, you know. It's because they had nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> Angel was like middle of nowhere. Love it. So good. Give it a try. Now that concludes our recipe and taste test of the pizza casserole recipe by the Valerie Howard. Valerie Howard. The MVP. The MVP. That's our her breadstick recipe and her pizza casserole recipe. So uh, if you give it a try, uh, tag us on Instagram or something. Yeah, so we can see so it. We can see it. Or I love that. I love to see it. But uh, we'll see you in another video real soon where we make Mom's famous ice cream cake. Don't die. Okay, bye. bye.